That was Yosemite Sam cussing in the in Looney Tunes. He used to always Daffy Duck would do it too. What if he just oh, I don't know, I'm not short to my He probably was saying that. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. Corbin. Rick. Follow us. Instagram and um, Twitter. It's so juicy. You dare stand with me over there. Well, you have to make out. Today we're reacting to, I believe, it's some stand-up comedy by uh, Sorbut Pant, who did the, the the bald guy we just saw him, uh, I think, a week or two ago. He did the, it was like a political commentary. You'll recognize him. I'm when, sure he will. Let me see him. Uh, but this is called Fairness Creams Are Racist. You think? <laughs> <laughs> a fairly obvious statement. <laughs> Slightly... <laughs> KKK hoods are bad. What? Why? I don't know. What's the matter? Those are, those are fine fellows. Dave Chappelle did a really funny thing in his most recent stand-up thing about the fact that we have to wear masks and that like it's a lot of the white supremacist groups that are like kicking against it. And he's like, I don't know why you guys would be upset about wearing masks. You wear hoods all the time. <laughs> Facts. All right, here we go. You recognize it. I do now, yes. <laughs> yes, we commented on how we liked that he was edgy. Do you all agree yeah. that fairness screams are the most racist shit in India? Facts. I hate these screams. They're terrible. They make some people feel so bad about themselves. Yep. They're so racist, dude. And if you didn't already know this, I'm sure some of you already know this. Most of these fairness screams have bleach inside them. Bleach. Do they really? Bleach is used to clean toilets. <laughs> Do they really have bleach? They're literally telling anyone who's dark, tera chera sandas hai. That's what they're saying. They have bleach in there? Tere mumbe poti karega mein. Like, that's what they're saying. Messed up shit, dude. And, and the thing is that now they've tried to repackage themselves. Fairness screens have tried to repackage themselves. Because you won't tell. <laughs> so now what they call themselves is lightning cream. Like, bijli ja riya tumhare chehre pe. Babu ji za. The other thing they call themselves is anti-tanning cream. <laughs> really? I, I was born like this. <laughs> My mom gave me birth, not Baga Beach in Goa, you asshole. <laughs> I hate these screams, dude, and Bollywood keeps perpetuating it all the time. Keeps perpetuating this bullshit, keeps endorsing this bullshit all the time. And, and the only people to stand up against this is Kangana Ranao and Abhi Dion. That's it. <laughs> Shah Rukh ko farak nahi padta. And by the way, I, I really like Shah Rukh, and it really irritates the shit out of me that he endorses fairness screams. Because one, he really? it's racist. And Does two, he really? I mean, okay, fair, forget. But to endorse fair and handsome, don't you have to be? Does SRK really endorse fairness games? Priyanka did ads for them in the past. These games are terrible. Yeah, the and I hate these ads. Every bloody fairness cream ad is the same shit. It always starts on Monday. I don't think they, any of them do it anymore. But in like Every the 90s ad is on Monday. Where this girl is there and she's Saula. She's always Saula. And she has her resume and she goes to an office and she's like, excuse me, here's my resume. And they see her resume and they see her face and they're like, Hat kali, nahi oh, And she's like, oh my god, I want to work here. <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> Why do you want to work in this office? <laughs> but she goes, she goes, she buys a fairness cream and she, on um, Monday to Friday, she like, Monday she applies, Tuesday she applies, Wednesday she applies, Thursday she applies, Friday she applies, she goes back, she's like, excuse me. Here's my resume. And they're like, oh my god, is this the marble in Taj Mahal on your face? <laughs> Did your fairness scream give you nine years of work experience at Infosys? You're hired. What? 
What bullshit? Preach it, brother. Are also targeted at different parts of uh, specifically women's bodies, different parts of women's bodies. Uh, there are fairness creams that make your underarms fair, really? and also well below underarms. Uh, <laughs> really? And I'm like, who? Oh, it's like anal bleaching. Oh, Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it's so specifically racist. <laughs> Which I saw an advertisement for, uh, which was basically fairness baby oil. What? No. <laughs> Again, which parents are so <laughs> racist? Their child is born and they're like, Kala Kaluta Bengal Lute. That's no joke. That happens. There's an ad. There's an ad which is talking about this whole specificity of shit. Okay. There's an ad. Um, um, I, I'm not sure if this is the right product, but I think that's what it is. Okay. This ad is one of the. I think the South Indian actress has seen. Where it's an ad which makes your underarms. It's a deodorant for your underarms. And it makes your underarms fair. And if you've seen this ad, there are flowers coming out of her underarms. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> like annual day at your school. Yele mala, yele mala, I want to see this ch chick at a wedding reception. Oh my god, congrats on your wedding. I'm so happy for you. I'm so sorry. I forgot I got a bouquet. One second. Here you go. It used to be a black rose, now it's white. I know Indians are the only people who are racist towards ourselves. It is crazy. It's it's crazy. And the biggest proof of this comes out in Goa, right? You go to Goa and like uh, white people are trying to tan themselves to yep. look like us. Yep. And they're rubbing fairness cream on our face <laughs> to look like them. And black people are just standing in the middle saying, damn these stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> <They're> right. <laughs> damn. No, black people are never, they're proud of their skin as they should be. Everyone should be proud of the color of your skin, man. Black people are so proud of so their skin. Then you don't find a black guy like, damn, I hate the color of my skin. <laughs> never. Black people are more like, hey, lumbay. Show you. It's a bouquet. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, he's very funny. I remember him. Obviously, we loved him because yeah, yeah, he was yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, politically "quote unquote" incorrect. If he doesn't have it yet, give him a Netflix special. I mean, he might have one. You should uh, have one. Yeah, he's he's very. And also, is it was this stand up or is this like something like the TED Talk but with rants? I right. I well, it looks like it. It looked like it was because the thing that said the rant. Right. And like, it, behind him. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it, that's just the name of his special. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Who's the but, but also, if you remember, the, um, I think it was EIC. Was it EIC? Or is it Which, AIB? Which one? Remember when um, it was the one uh, where India was talking to Pakistan? Oh, yeah. And it, he was, I believe. I think that was AIB. He was in it? I think he was wow. Pakistan. Wow. Are you remembering that right now? I think he was Pakistan. Good grief. I, I would never recall that. That was a year ago. I think he was. That might have been a year and a half ago. You guys uh, have, might have to let me know. Anyway, yeah, I it, it, it's what he said is true. I was going to bring it up. You, you do know we have tanning booths here, and like white people do everything they can to become brown. Yeah. 
Uh, but there isn't. It probably has something to do with being colonized by, because uh, obviously it's not, it's not, I think it's maybe not, it's definitely less popular now, fairness cream, than it was, which is why in the 90s and 2000s, like a right. bunch of celebrities, Priyanka right. and, and all <laughs> these celebrities were promoting this product. And thankfully, we're now realizing, or at least we're acknowledging that it's completely and utterly stupid and racist to want to change the color of your skin, mm -hmm. uh, to to be more fair, to be I, and obviously Bollywood doesn't help, you know, in perpetuating no. that, that no one need to be fair right. by ca only casting, at least in the past and still sometimes obviously, but um, just fair people, right, especially women, right. Um, so it's it's just ridiculous. It is. Um, it's deep rooted. It's it's more than just. Uh, the whole, because I've heard people talk about the fact that it's it's the whole, the, you know, the colonization yeah. and wanting to be like those who were in power mm -hmm. um, and wanting to be like the West. But I've also heard from a lot of stupid babies who said, yeah, it goes way deeper than that. Yeah. It, it, this is cast. Oh, this is, gotcha. This is cast included religious prejudices based on that, which is also part of as well as what transpired with, you know, Hitler's mentality as well as the mentality of slavery here and the whole idea that if you're darker skin You're lower on the evolutionary chain <laughs> Yeah, that's literally literally where that came from. So it is it, it is a absolute evil uh, I remember when people were ripping on Michael Jackson Because he became so fair mm -hmm. thinking that he was doing what other people do where he was not proud of his black skin Little did they know he had extremely severe vitiligo so he was trying to blend the skin to what was happening where his pigment was disappearing. He had it very bad. And that's why he wrote the song, It Doesn't Matter If You're Black or White. He's like, why are you guys fixating on, I'm a black man with vitiligo. And it, it started after Off the Wall. So that's why you see this change in his skin. Because mm. he, he was trying to blend and <clears throat> it was becoming too difficult to match his black skin tone because there was more white from his vitiligo. Yeah, uh, yeah and I just, I just <clears throat> for anybody we did something like this a year, like a year and a half ago, and I put a video up on my channel as well as on Instagram with Billy Joel's uh, song, I Love You Just The Way You Are. Yeah. Yeah, guys guys and gals, you, if you've faced that, and I know you have, if you have dark skin, you've had family members tell you that you're awful and that you're never gonna be able to marry somebody or you're a fair-skinned person in love with a dark-skinned person and your family has disowned you because you're, they're, they're freaking out that you're gonna be with a brown-skinned person. It's bigotry, it's hatred, you're better than that. You're beautiful the way that, you, that God made you. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Don't, don't change anything about yourself. No. If anybody wants you to, don't be part of their life. Yeah, they don't love you. Yeah. Uh, anyways. <laughs> oh, he is great. He's fantastic. Let us know more from him and other stand-up comedians that we can react to uh, because we like the giggles. Especially this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> <laughs>